Gap is way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mano's in the building. New Mano. And it's time for Ask Yee with my award-winning advice giver, Mano, in the building. Award-winning. All right, so we have Anonymous, somebody Anonymous on the line, so that's always good. What's up, Anonymous caller? How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you, Angela? I'm good. Mano's here, too, and we are ready for your Ask Yee question. Oh no! I didn't want to do it with Mano there. Uh, listen, kidding. sometimes you need that, you know. Extra. Why, you don't want to. You don't want to talk to me. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. uh, all right, we're listening. All right. So, um, <laughs> I've been with my boyfriend for a couple of years, and he's actually incarcerated. And I recently found out that I've been diagnosed with um, herpes, mm-hmm. and he's gonna think that I have cheated on him, but I actually haven't. This virus could lay dormant in your body for like years before you actually find out that you have it. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm just having a hard time trying to figure out how I'm going to tell him this. You could have got it from him. Yeah, it is very hard to see where you got it from. But um, I feel like... So you don't know where you got it from? No, it's very difficult. To so have you had sex since he's been in jail? No, he hasn't. And I haven't cheated on him since he's been in jail either. Okay, I mean, the thing is, it herpes is actually super common. Globally, 67% of the population actually has a, a form of herpes. So, yeah. in the United States, though, so you, it's pretty you, common. You get, you get like a, like a, like you break out? Um, well, no. So, I found out from going to a doctor's appointment, they did a blood test. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, actually, I found out there's like people that are asymptomatic, which means they have no symptoms at all. And I guess I'm one of those people that don't have the symptoms. Okay, so they tested so, you to, to, and that's so how they knew that you had it. are getting flared up. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, well, for, I think, first of all, I commend you because some people have that and, and decide to keep it a secret and not tell anybody, and that's how it continues to spread. And I think the main thing is to get all the information that you have so that when you talk to him from a medical expert, you can explain to him everything about it, how contagious it is, how he can potentially get exposed to it or not. Um, he may even have it. Who knows? You know. But I, I do think you have to let him know. And like you said... Just give him all the information so that he has it. And that's all you can do because you haven't cheated on him. Um, and you just have to make sure you have the actual, here is the, you know, the truth about herpes and how it's, uh, how it can lay dormant yeah. and all of those things so that he can, well, he has plenty of time to think about it where he is. How long he's been in jail? He's been in jail for about five years. So you've, um, you've never had... The urge to... Well, we didn't start talking until about three years ago, so... Okay, so he's been in jail five years. So you started dating him while he was in... Since we've been talking, and I guess I'm just a little worried to tell him because I feel like this could potentially be the end of our relationship Mm -hmm. if he doesn't want to be with me because of that. And if I was him, I would think that I cheated on him, you know? So So you you met him while he was in prison? No, we actually had a relationship before he went in. And then I guess he went in, and then two years in, they started dating again. Mm. I mean, look, I think that as long as you can explain from a doctor's perspective, you know, what, um, because herpes tests aren't normally given to you unless you have an outbreak and you've been exposed. So that's really why people get tested. Have you talked to the dude that you're sleeping with now? (laughs) I'm not sleeping with anybody. Nice try, Mayno. She's not cheating. I'm just to see. Like, you know, I five just, years is a long time to not, you know. I just think that there's well, always. No, it's actually been like two years since I've last had. Okay. With anybody. So oh, so. I'm glad like I'm not here to Two years. That, and I'm not. Like, I don't know if I got it from the last person I was with. It's just now I have to think about stuff that is in my past that I've tried to, like, suppress to see. Because I went through a whole stage and I don't want to. Oh, okay. I don't want to think about all that. And now I have to think of like where I could have possibly got this virus from. And right. A whole lot of stuff. Well, the thing is, you just don't know where you got it. But I will say, let him know if he really loves you. This is not, you know, normally the end of a relationship. Like we said, it's a very common thing. Um, and that's all you could do is tell him. I mean, like I said, maybe he has it. But what's interesting, you've been with him for three years, but you said the last time you had sex was two years ago. Right. So she was having sex. While he was gone. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, didn't you say you guys were together three years, but you just said you had sex two years ago? So we started talking, and 
July of 2021, and that was the last time I had sex. So it was like I haven't cheated on him. Okay. All right. Well, listen, all you can do is be the best woman that you could be. I'm going to be honest because I know a lot of people who've had relationships in jail. Who knows who else he's talking to also. So just (laughs) let him know. And that's all you can do. And if he decides to stay with you, you know, that's amazing. If he doesn't and decides to move on, you put the information out there. If that's what he chooses to do, that's on him. But, um, mm-hmm. you know, either way, you're... Real love is sharing that herpes together. <laughs> I feel like, gee, if he doesn't want me, who else is going to want me? This is horrible. Well, just because you have it doesn't mean that you have to pass it on to somebody else. You can be responsible to make sure that you lower the risk of somebody else getting herpes. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do and educate myself. And I'm just worried, you know, to tell him because I feel like he probably wouldn't be educated about it. And he doesn't know that, like, it could lay dormant for years. And, you know, if I was just him, I would just think I cheated on him because I'm not educated. He's not educated about it. But there's a lot of people listening right now who have herpes as well. So (laughs) it's just, it's, it's a very, you know. And, of course, nobody wants to have something like that. But all you can do is lower the risk of passing it on and make sure you don't get outbreaks. Yes, definitely. I definitely feel a responsibility to tell him, and I'm just glad I haven't been out here spreading this stuff unknowingly, because I guess, you know, it. that's how it spreads mostly, is people don't even know they have it. Mm-hmm. And, and some people do know they have it. Some people do know they have it and have no problem spreading it, so I commend you for being honest. All right. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate you taking my call. I love your show, and I just love web service, and I love everything. All right. Well, I love. I will hope you check back in and let me know what happens too. All right, I'll try and do that. All right, thank you. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Man, don't be quiet. No, I'm just You've saying, definitely had sex with somebody with herpes before. Never in my life. You don't know that. Never. You don't. How, they just how didn't could tell I you. Not know, like, they didn't tell you. You crazy? They could have just not been having an outbreak. Crazy. You definitely have. Numbers wise, yeah. you definitely mm-hmm. have. 